Shock. Meg got mad as better up laid off Harry after catching him stealing money to pay private debts. Over the last week, Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle have returned to the spotlight in an effort to reportedly reinvent themselves and prove to the world that they are not grifters who need to exploit their fraud connections to the British royal family to keep people's attention and maintain their wealth, a list lifestyle. But they hit a possible snag with the news Thursday that one of Harry's projects, the San Francisco-based mental health startup BetterUp, missed its financial targets last year and needs to lay off 16% of its workforce or some 100 employees. The Daily Beast cited multiple sources within the company to report Thursday that the company, which provides mental fitness services to corporate clients, has been dealing with internal tumult for many months, including a revolt in 2022 by its army of coaches over pay cuts and other professional issues. It appears that Harry still has his lucrative job with BetterUp as its chief impact officer, whatever that is, and is still listed at the top of BetterUp's leadership team. The company has never offered details about what the Duke of Sussex does in his role, how much he's paid, or how much time he puts in. He's given interviews for BetterUp on the importance of maintaining mental health and appeared in March with CEO Alexei Robichaux at the company's Uplift Summit. In interviews, Robichaux has vaguely said that Harry's role is to expand BetterUp's global community reach, while the Duke has said his job involves driving advocacy and awareness for mental fitness, which are pretty much two different jobs. The Daily Beast said better up and a spokesperson for Harry did not immediately respond to a request for comment on the layoffs. Better Up has yet to respond to requests for comment from the news organization, the company which has offices in San Francisco, Austin, Texas, Washington, D.C., London, and Amsterdam, has not filed WARN notices with California's Employment Development Department, a spokesperson for the agency has said. It's likely Harry has been paid quite a bit for his advocacy for Better Up, given that the company raised $300 million at a $4.7 billion evaluation at 2021, the Daily Beast reported last year. But the lack of clarity around Harry's job description irked some of Better Up's coaches, who questioned whether his job was simply marketing smoke and mirrors, the Daily Beast also reported. Unfortunately for Harry, his role with Better Up has fit the narrative that he's cashed in on high-profile partnerships without working too hard. This narrative spun into overdrive with the collapse of Harry and Meghan's $20 million deal with Spotify, which laid off 6% of its workforce earlier in the year. In June, Spotify and the Sussexes revealed that they were parting ways, with reports saying that the streaming service was frustrated over the couple's failure to produce much content in nearly three years. Some podcasters, who turned out to multiple podcasts monthly or even weekly, were particularly incensed that the Montecito Millionaires only managed to produce 12 episodes of Megan's Archetypes podcast since late 2020. One of those podcasters was Spotify executive and veteran sports writer Bill Simmons, who called them grifters. The New York Post also labeled the Sussexes their royal laziness. Critics pointed out that they were paid a reported $100 million by Netflix, but have thus far only launched their one popular six-part documentary series about themselves, in which the couple complained about royal life and dished about Harry's famous relatives. This week, the Sussexes tried to push back against the grifters and laziness labels, with a source close to their Archwell production company suggesting to People magazine that they were poorly onboarded by Spotify, saying... They were given no formal lay of the land to kick things off, so they were already on unsteady footing even before the ink was dry. The Sympathetic People's story also made it clear that they were hoping to banish memories of the lengthy pity party they held after leaving the royal family and fight their way back into the hearts of the American public. 